Okay, so here's our first one. Um, so these are basically three shapes of the lips. And they come down here. This area in here goes inward, slightly inward, so that there's a little bit more shadow in there. This comes down, there's a slight, uh, there's a, a ridge here, center ridge. The upper lip overlaps over the, the bottom lip. There are, there's a ridge down here too, it's called the pillar. This is almost always in shadow because uh, the light usually comes from above. Um, and there are muscles down here that create another, it, it's just called a pillar. There are muscles down here that, that create a, a support system for all this. Um, and then over here on the side, where the, they, these are called the nodes. This is where it kind of turns into a bean shape on the side. And it's, it overlaps, this shape overlaps. and then comes out. So all of those shapes have to follow the, or when you're rendering them, just do it as if you're rendering uh, cylinders and cubes and spheres, and, and the light will kind of take care of itself. Over here, too, there's usually um, this label, labial thing. You can see up here on the nose, there's a core shadow here. There's a little bit of a reflected light in here, but the core shadow is up here. It's not at the bottom of the nose. Um, are there any questions so far? I should, let me not even get onto the nose first. So he's got his mouth here. I'm just gonna kind of sketch out where this is. And let's just deal about, talk about the light. So we've got the light coming in from the upper left. And you've got these shapes here. So the, the light is going to hit this core shadow. And then there's a, a cast shadow onto the lip, onto the lower lip. Then there's another cast shadow down here. And over here, there's um, a little fold. And you, if you look at it closely, there's a little bit of a cast shadow right onto the top. a little bit of a cast shadow onto the top of that lower lid. It's very small, very, it's minimal, but it's a detail that you might want to use someday. It's good to know. This core shadow continues on here in this bean shape. There's a tiny, tiny amount of reflected light right in here. And then there's, um, So this core shadow here, but there's still, it is still uh, turning under for a while here. It's still turning under. Uh, and then all of this, of course, is in shadow because this is then turning way under. 
you got your uh, So over here in the shadow, the same thing is happening. This beam shape over here. Um, just as with the eyeball, the, the highest point or the sharpest point on the lips is going to get lit. It's going to get a highlight. That's why there's generally two highlights on the lip. Is because these two spheres, these these two, there are two parts of the the lip, the bottom lip there. The one that's closest to the light is going to get hit harder, and there's another one over here that will get hit less. And then up here, there's usually a highlight on there. There's a ridge at the top. There's usually a ridge up here somewhere. There's also, right out here, is usually a highlight as well because it's a plane that is um, almost not quite perpendicular, but it's it slants pretty much. It's it's quite a slant, and so it gets it hits it get it catches a lot of light. Um. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> this actually comes out. This plane here. Ooh, that's not dark enough. There's a plane here, and then there's another one here that comes out, and then it goes back in again. There's tons of planes, uh, and you can actually, there, there are different ways of measuring these things, and people have different methods, but there is a plane that comes out here. Uh, we have a little bit of time left. If, if you don't have any questions on this stuff, and I'm going through this really fast. I know I'm going through it fast, so if you have any questions, just stop me. But if you don't have any more questions, then I'll just go on to the nose real quick. <laughs> 